Alright people, welcome back to one active video. Alright guys, so Lenovo have officially released their driver, which is the same driver as 24.12 and Lenovo version is 2420-2601, right? So this comes with AMD Full Motion Frames 2 out the box directly from Lenovo guys. So this is great for all those people that didn't want to sideload their drivers. This is the good news for you guys. Also, this is great for people that's been sideloading because sometimes the Windows uh, updates override the driver that we have because we sideloaded it. But now this is officially from Lenovo. So that will not happen anymore because it's directly from Lenovo, right? So now you could install it. It's way easier to install now, but let me just show you guys how to install it. So now if you, if you update it directly from Lenovo, right? Your AMD software is not gonna actually work. So I'm gonna show you how to properly install it so you get everything up and running and working smoothly. So you get your software, which is the AMD Adrenaline software to actually work with that driver, right? So let me get into it real quick and I'll show you what's going on, guys. All right, so if you haven't sideloaded it and you've been using the stock drivers directly from Lenovo, you should be able to just update it and have your general software still work. So once you update, I'll show you how to do that in a second. But once you, let's say you already updated your driver, now your general software is not working. If you go to the App Store, which is the, the Microsoft Store, you go to Downloads, you, if you hit update, then you should see an update for the general software. If you update it, it should work. If it don't work, just follow the next steps that I'm about to show you and then do it this way and then you'll get everything up and running, right? Next, first thing I want you guys to do, this PC, go to your Windows SSD and you want, I want you to delete this folder, the AMD folder, just delete that. Once you delete that, that won't delete anything off your system. It's just deleting the folder. So it's not deleting the driver off your system or anything like that. Once you get that done, then I want you guys to go to install apps, go on here. And for the AMD software, uninstall this as well, right? So once you get that done, now I need you guys to download DDU. If you guys don't know what DDU is, it's a software that uninstall any driver that's on your system and it gives you a fresh clean system so it's uninstall everything that's on your system so that you get a fresh install of what you're about to do right so that's good to do so that you don't have any errors or anything like that when you update your drivers or any other software that pertains to like gaming or anything like that right all right so next I need you guys to download ddu just come to this website it should be in the description box down below guys so i'm here hit download so if you from if you in the EU or the US, download it from here. Then once you get that done, download the driver. So you come here, go to the question mark, then you go to online support. When you get here, you go to PC, then you come down, you go to drivers and software, then you come here, you go to manual, then you go to display and video graphics, and then you should see the new update which is right here. Some people right now. The driver is not available in Legion space, so you might not be able to get it from there. So, but this is officially from Lenovo guys. This is on their website. So all you gotta do now is hit download. Once that's done, you could just run it from here if you want. Try it out, see if it works. Install and open. There's no error or anything like that. The safest way to go by doing this guys is to use DDU to get a fresh install on your system, right? Especially if you've been side loading drivers, right? This is the best way to do it, but it's up to you. You don't have to really run DDU because I've seen and, and heard about people doing it without using DDU and everything being good for them. So it's up to you. You could do either hard, but I'll show you the safest way how to do it, right? So now let's get into the DDU part of this video. All right, so since you already got everything downloaded already, turn off your Wi-Fi, disable that. Now you want to put it into safe mode, right? So you can go to Windows, go to Settings, Windows Update. You go to advanced options, then you go to recovery, advanced startup right here, hit restart. It's going to boot you up into safe mode, guys. Just remember that. So now, because if you guys haven't done this before, because this is a portrait screen that I'm going to put on this device, this is why it's like this. So now you can flip it around. Now you go to troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and then hit restart. So now, right in this screen right here, you're going to need a keyboard, or if you don't have a keyboard, you can double tap the screen and the virtual keyboard will come up. But now to enter into safe mode right here, it's saying you gotta press four to enter into safe mode. So you press four and then it'll reboot into safe mode guys. So once you're here, this is when you run DDU. One thing I forgot to mention, you gotta extract the DDU file when you download it. So once you do that, then you should be golden, right? But the next thing you gotta do, go to where you 
have the DDU file. Let me go in here and search for it. DDU, and it's right here. So make sure you extract it so you can have it to actually use it. Because if you didn't extract it, you won't be able to use it. First thing it's going to actually do is extract it once you click on it, guys. Forgot to mention that earlier. So you want to do that, you open that up. Then you're going to get it like this, right? So now on this screen right here, on the right side, you click here, go to GPU, and it's going to automatically select AMD as well. So now you want to click clean up and restart. So now you just let it do its thing real quick, guys, and just let it go through the whole process and the system will boot right back up. All right, so once you're back up and running, your screen still might be in portrait mode. So all you got to do is go back, just go to display settings, and you come down here, and then you put it to back to landscape right once you get back your screen to this now we're going to do the install process right so now you go to download where you download the driver and this should be it right here you click on it hit yes and then you hit accept and agree next and then you hit install not extract and then install so this right here is the easiest part of the video all you're doing right now is just download it and then install and stuff right you already should have downloaded all the stuff that you need already which is ddu and the driver and then now you have to download the amd radiant software as well so once this is finished then i'll show you guys how to do that as well all right so once it's done i've successfully been installed right hit okay hit finish and let's hit your system with a restart real quick. So now you want to install the AMD Radiant software, right? So I'll put the link in the description box down below, guys. You can download it. But once you come here, you just hit download. Install. You open. And you can skip this. And then you're up and running. So now we are on 24.20.2601, right? So that's how you officially install the driver, which is 24.20.2601 from Lenovo. But truly and really, it's 24.12. That's the, that's the version that AMD releases, right? Well, it's the same driver, and it comes with AMD full motion frames too, out the box now, right? So if you go, let's go to a game real quick, and I can show you. When you come into Helldivers 2, now you see AMD full motion frames too, and then you could mess with it i have all the same settings so if you want the best settings guys just go on my channel i have a lot of videos and amd full motion frames too and how to how to tweak it to get the best gaming experience out of your system right so let's go through my videos and you guys can see what's going on right so that that's basically it so if you have any questions guys just drop a comment down below and let me know what you think if you have any video ideas for me again drop one more comment and let me know and i'll see if i can get to it for you guys but that's basically it so if you like what i'm posting guys hit that like button and sub to the channel for more awesome content guys and remember to always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in